Hi. Um, right there is a card developed using K3D modeling uh, program. So you can see that it's very, very easy to develop this uh, simple curve. So what I'll do next is uh, start a new project and show it to you guys how it was done. This is the 3D look of this very project. That's the base right there. So I'm going to start a new one and now you guys will just see how I put, I actually put this together. Okay, let's just go back to file and start a new project right there. There we are. The first thing you do is uh, click on the polygon right there as it to so select the polygons right there click on it and select each of those uh, cell cells hold down the shift key once you select the first one and click you may add to enlarge if you want so let's just speed this up because it's all the same process okay now to the last two cells that is selected the next thing you have to do is right click go to mesh modifier select extrude the screwed face which is right there or extrude faces click and this is what you get so what you need to do instead of this uh, very distance that is set to one enter minus four which means the extruded face will surely go back inside and press enter look at what happened you can see right there and the next thing you need to do is just deselect the extruded face right there click anywhere on the canvas now select the second or the above cells hold down your shift key and select repeat exactly the same process and take it around now once you finish selecting the next upper layer right click mash modifier extrude you get exactly the same thing the extruded face pops out come to the distance and select minus three right here look at that minus three and press enter what happens is you see the extruded face sort of like now digs into the cup now let's come to the face up here right click go to mesh and extrude the face right there that is it you see the extruded, extruded face there and come to the insert set and enter point 75 maybe point 750 you end up with that the distance that you want in this case make that zero and that's what you get so what I want to do now is just to drill a hole of an opening into the cup you can extrude it again just one more time extrude it extrude the face right there okay and the distance here into minus let's make that minus uh, seven and press enter what you get is a cup that looks like a wine cup so let's just put the finishing touches to this if you look at the base here the base is a little bit too wide we might as well modify the base and make it look more beautiful so let's extrude that a little bit in okay select it all now just to finish the selection that is it right here right click now mash modify again 
extrude and what I want to do right now is just to take it back a little bit in I'm just going to give that minus with minus one as it looks it looks a little bit much better with minus one so the next thing I would do now is right click mesh modifier let's convert it to 3d so that uh, we see the final product okay come to make sds click on that and this is what you end up with see how nice let's just select that you see that so for you if you want to recreate that all you just need to do is the base here is minus 4, minus 3 and the base actually is minus 1, minus 4 in the center, minus 3 and just extrude inward, minus 8 and that's it, that's how you create a cup, as a drinking cup, I think it's beautiful so if you want if you like you can always go to render and get it rendered if you have the full version if you don't have that you can always download one or two component to get it rendered and uh, that'll be all for this project i suppose you all enjoy it and uh, you have a nice day now Bye for now.